on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I have a motto when everyone ever asks me, what is the best board ever? And I say, there is a board for everyone. So what do I mean by that is that it doesn't matter what you ride as long as you're riding. That's the one thing that I can't stress enough is that if you're getting into the hobby, it doesn't matter if you have a budget of $20 million or a budget of $250. The fact that you're getting into this hobby is the reason why I love that you're here and that you get to check out this fantastic stuff. Now there's a company called Basecamp. Basecamp has put out the F11 board, which is a short board mini cruiser. I love my little mini decks. There is a lot to love about this mini packed board. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So I normally don't do this on the channel. I think maybe I will start incorporating it a little bit more as that an unboxing. The board itself, nice, small, compact base camp on side there. It's got a nice little schematic of the board itself. Some, uh, some great features on there as well too. One thing that I do truly love is that when you open it up, you're greeted with this whole entire like how to charge your board. Everything is right then and there. This is extremely beginner friendly board. That's kind of what this whole board is geared for. This is, you're jumping into the sport. You're looking for something to throw in your car cruise around where you have everything that's kind of explained to you right then and there. You really can't screw it up or throw out the manuals. It does come with some really nice accessories. So let's go ahead and get into that. First off being you're greeted with the backpack. So this does come with a backpack, like a nylon layer sit situation. It's got place for the top of the board strap board goes through there, bottom of the board holds in place. Great way to carry the uh, skateboard around. Second thing is it comes with like a little uh, nose protector. So a little nose protector there. You can wrap that around the front of the board there, an actual manual, which is great because if you throw the box out, you have this, and it gives you all of the really nice instructions, quick start guide on how the board works. Now let's get to the start of the show, which I've already ridden and put through its paces. Now, I will give you the premise of this. This is the board. So you're wondering, hey, if you're keen to the eye there, I see one, two, three urethane wheels, but you said there's an electric board. It is. Here's the battery. It is a single hub motor board. So what does that mean? It means that there is one motor on the rear here that is inside of the rear right wheel. And it is enough to propel you up to 10 miles per hour. That doesn't sound blazing fast, but for someone who just hops onto an electric skateboard, it is a very quick ride. And at my weight, this board was actually a lot of fun. I, uh, I can really attest that I enjoy these little mini boards. Again, it's not designed for me. This was designed for someone that is entry level, maybe a lighter weight person that's like in college, a child. It's one of those things where you can jump on this board and have a really fun time and actually have up to 10 miles of range on this 4,000 milliamp battery. I have yet to test the full range of it because I was just kind of goofing around inside the skate park. I had way more fun inside the skate park than I thought I would. A few other things happened inside there too. We'll get to that in a second. So with the deck, it's got some really cool, uh, you know, nice, Pinstripe down here, the base camp logo on the bottom there, base camp logo on the bottom here, so base camp. Or is that Drew Elia? <gasps> it's not, it's not. It's uh it's base camp. It's just upside down. Yeah, my friend, when he opened this up, he was like, Did you get a custom board made for you? I said, No, I didn't. It's the base camp logo, but it definitely looks like my initials. Yeah, right there too. D-E, base camp. Or Drew Elia. Base camp? Drew Elia. I don't know, that was funny. Pardon me because the deck is a little dirty. The wheels are a little dirty. I did use this thing. I wanted to try it out myself. I also have my friend who is a lighter weight female. She jumped on this thing and uh, you know she had a pretty good time with it as well too. She's not into electric skateboarding so it was a perfect person to jump into and get their opinion about it. Let me just go ahead and get started with the deck here. So it is an eight layer maple Canadian board. It's got the subtle little flare it's a pretty flat deck overall. Now you can see that there is a slightest, ever so slightest little curve, little U-shape there, and I love it. It's wide, it's super wide and super stable. And this whole like top flat nose thing reminds me of like a bull shark. Like when I first opened it up, I looked at it, I was like, I was like, oh, that's kind of badass. I was like, I like the, the shape of that board. It's uh, it's able to hold me at 220 pounds. That is the max limit that base camp has put to it. It was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself kind of just whipping around on this thing, kind of throwing it around. Not designed for me. It does have wheel bite. So wheel bite is this thing right here where the front wheel was spinning really fast and it hit on the deck and it just basically is like an e-brake for any electric skateboard or just skateboard in general. This thing just threw me right the uh, right the hell off there. And uh, that was totally my fault because I didn't tighten down the trucks enough. I just take it out of the box, I like to ride it as is, but I probably should tighten the trucks down, especially after going to a skate park. Like I'm an idiot for thinking that, but uh, it did have that along with a little, just right there in the back, tightening down the kingpin, putting on maybe some more risers because there is a little thin riser pad on there, but maybe uh, putting those risers on there a little bit 
would have uh, would have helped. But again, this isn't for me. It's for a campus cruiser, it's for a kid, it's for someone that's just uh, trying to get into the sport. There's a board for everyone. That's what my motto is, there's a board for everyone. Now, the one thing that interests me is the wheel choice. 90 millimeter by 51 millimeter by 85A. So it's it's squishy, but 90 millimeters is big. It's big for a shortboard. Even the uh, the X-Way Wave is an 85 millimeter. It's uh, it's large. I wouldn't necessarily think to go 90 millimeter. You find those like on the Meepo V4s, you find those on the Voyager. Like there is a whole series of, uh, of boards out there that use the 90 millimeter wheels and uh, they're performance. So it's performance-based wheels and I mean, they're not they're grippy is all hell definitely couldn't slide them they had a they had some great texture to it big wheel for such a small board it lends to rolling over cracks rolling over like imperfections you won't get that like little tiny pebble hitting the wheel and throwing you off you'll be able to glide over bigger cracks and stuff like that which i think is what they were going for there so initially i didn't understand why they wanted to use the 90 millimeter wheels in there but i get it now because these larger cracks it's just rolling over and eating everything it's just that that clearance between the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck uh, it, it's not enough for me. That's why I had to tighten the trucks up a little bit more to get more of a secure feel on it. But, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate the 90 millimeter wheels on a smaller board because it does lend itself to an easier rollering experience. So I can definitely appreciate that. So let's get into the electronics of this board. So again, single hub drive motor. So battery pack here, cable comes to this right rear wheel. You turn that on. It's just like a push to start. So this is using the Ling Fox series. Kick to start, there is like a switch here too. So you can turn that off. But if you spin it, it kicks right on. Remote control, no LCD. Nice little finger hole right there. Four different power modes. One, two, three, four. I'll leave it on four. Full battery on the, uh, the battery indicator there. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. The acceleration curve is uh, is light, so it's not super jerky like you would find on like the Meepo V3s or the original Meepos. Can you hear that? Let me start that again. It's got a really nice steady acceleration curve. They uh, they did a great job with that. The braking though, again, because it is a single motor, the braking is really soft. And what I mean by that is that when I crank down on the brakes, you're not stopping for a good like, for my weight again, my weight, I wasn't stopping for a good like 10 feet. So I was kind of even foot braking when it came to that. It's so what to expect when you have a single hub drive motor, heavier rider, not the best combination there. So the trucks, they didn't say anything about the trucks. They are a cast metal that's on there, so just kind of stamped out. Uh, the bushings are a barrel bushing, pretty decent cup that's on there as well too. Again, this board is a beginner board, so if you're looking for those premium features, premium truck designs, premium uh, riptide bushings that are inside there, you know, those are some you're gonna be paying a little bit extra for. This is your entry level to the market. I call this board more or less like a hybrid cruiser, and what I mean by that is that because of the single hub motor, it's actually leads me more to I was pushing with it and being able to get up acceleration and then just kind of cruising with the uh, with the controller there and being able to brake a little bit as well too. So I find that that campus cruiser style that if you are pushing, you're someone that wants to get to school a little bit quicker. You know, maybe you have a little bit of an uphill grade or you have something that you can get, you know, a little bit flat land. This does give you a much more comfortable ride. You don't have to push as hard. You can kind of give it a one, two, three push. And then as you're cruising, just keep the momentum going with the control that's on there. And uh, I definitely enjoyed myself. Like I said, repping around on the uh, the pump track and having a good time that way. I know my friend Angela, she had a great time with it as well too. She was, uh, you know, jumping on it for her first time, being able to get into the sport itself. I think that it's, uh, it's something that for people like that, that are trying to get into the sport, this board is absolutely incredible. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video here too. We got tons of more stuff coming out. Just remember that if you haven't, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. We got so many more fun things coming down the pipe and a giveaway as well. So if you haven't yet, check out this video here or this video here. Until then guys, catch the next one. Wear a helmet, peace.